this, when I was at SAS, uh, we ran this. This is um, a piece of collateral that we created, and it was individualized to about, I don't know, must have been about 50, 60 different organizations. And all we literally did was just turn around and say, actually, we are selling forecasting software. Hi, we've got some great forecasting software. We believe it's bigger, better, faster than anybody else's, and it's more accurate. Not a message the market cares about. By looking at what does it enable, saying, actually, we believe that by improving your forecast accuracy in your business, we believe there are savings in this particular company's uh, uh, paradigm of £552.6 million over the next three years. And we've broken it down into metrics you actually care about. Now, we don't know whether those numbers are accurate or not because we've based that on the information we have. But the point is we've gone away and we've done some homework. If you think that 552.6 million quid is a number worth discussing, if not, sorry to have wasted your time, we're off. Funny how many people go, uh, actually, that's something that's worth talking about. And it's not people in middle management, it's people at CX level. This is a not dissimilar one uh, that we've run at HPE, where this was around um, business process services in finance and accounting. Where we've bothered to work out, you know, what are the potential uh, cash flow improvements just by doing some very simple things. But people don't care about the processes that you're going to put in place or the technology you're going to employ. They care about the number. And we've broken it again down into things they care about. What's interesting is the, the, the thing that came back, this um, email here, actually came from the group director of financial control for this particular organisation that we targeted. And you can see there, I've been past the printed proposal relating to possible improvements in the DSO profile. Sounds intriguing. I have seen the potential agenda items, which are interesting, but give no clear hint as to exactly what it is that's being proposed. So we've shown them a little bit, but I'm not going to reveal everything because I want you to take the meeting. That's what we're aiming at. And the sales guys are like, this is brilliant because now I've got a meeting with a senior stakeholder and he's actually coming to us asking for it. This is another campaign that around three, three month campaign last year um, where we targeted 25 banks and we worked out did these calculations based on what it was we were trying to sell. And we said, actually, this is the revenue that we think is under threat. Don't know whether it's right or wrong, but love to talk to you about it. Funnily enough, 10 senior executives at CXO and CXO minus one level took meetings and we generated over $45 million worth of pipeline on the back of it. Qualified pipeline. Not marketing qualified pipeline, but the sales guys going, yeah, I've got confidence in this. And that's how we brought together sales and marketing in those kind of environments.